What's good YouTube? Shadow Lurker here. And today we're going to unlock Sargon the Great or Sargon. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. Um, right now I'm just going through some of my KVK stuff, just collecting it real quick. Um, in the meantime, this video will have unlock um, you know, seeing what the skill animation looks like, um, for Sargon on a barb, and, um, some pairings. So, we're going to spin here, and we just did the free spin, or the, uh, yeah, the free spin, we got one head, so that's not too bad to start off. Um, we're going to do the, um, 400 gem half off. We got 200,000 um, gold times four, so 800,000 gold. That's not terrible. Get a gold head. Um, get a uh, another gold head. Uh, we get another commander sculpture head. Uh, that spin wasn't too bad. Um, got basically three heads out of it. Um, unfortunately, you need the 10 to unlock the commander. Everybody knows that. Uh, I don't have any gems right now, so I need to go in here and, you know, get some gems for some spins. So, let's do that here real quick. Um, excellent hit MGE by accident. Alright, let's send our five spins here and see how we do. Alright, get some stone. Not anything crazy. Got another gold head. Some speed ups. And we got a commander sculpture head. All right, so now we're up to, I believe, three heads. All right, and then we're going to lock the five here, so that takes us up to eight. All right, I'm going to do another five spins here, and hopefully we can get the unlock here, just to save some gems. All right, got some stone, and some more stone, and some more stone, and some research speed-ups, and some more... Uh, research speed ups so it's a terrible five spins there out of gems again unfortunately so I have to go in here and just you know add some more gems to the account make sure we have enough here and I'm just going to go overboard with it because we saw how that last spin was and who knows might get another one of those alright we're activating another spin here and see how it goes alright we got a head that takes us to nine there's number 10, got two stars, and we got a, another regular gold head, and just some speed ups. So uh, we've officially unlocked um, Sargon, or Sargon the Great. Um, I'm going to unlock him here. I'm not going to read the history of him. Uh, I'll let you guys do that. All right, we'll look at the skills here real quick. Um, the damage seems a little low, um, but I think that's okay because he does have a attack and health bonus, and it does go up to 100% when you max it, kind of like how Joan Prime is. Um, March speed's pretty good, and the damage bonus and um, times two is really good, I, I feel. And then you get some defense, some extra direct uh, damage factor, and then um, the shield and this um, stack that you can get, um, I think will be pretty good. Now, obviously we get the unlock here. I will do that off of this video. Um, I usually typically get those. All right, we're going to now test out the um, skill animation of the new commander. And once I find them here, and as you can see, I have a lot of commanders that are at the bottom that are, you know, want level one. Alright, just put calves on it, doesn't really matter. Just because, um, it's just a test, you know, see how it looks. We'll pull it off here to the side, and make, it, make it a little easier to see. And we will hit this level, um, I think it was a level 43 barbarian. Let's see how this animation looks. Double C's. All right, so we have nothing crazy, just some sword swinging. 
Um, kind of looks like uh, almost the same type of animation as Jan, um, the last uh, Cav Commander. This Ziski, I think his last name was. Um, it looks pretty similar to that instead of it being a, um, what does he swing? Like a mallet, uh, like a spiked mallet. I'd uh, probably get cru crucified for that. I think it's a mace. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. A spiked mace, maybe. Um, animation looks okay. Obviously, I don't I don't have him leveled up, so i um, not really going to see anything here. Um, I will pull up the uh, stats here real quick. I am running a speed gear on double C. Um, I'm not sure if that is what's making my infantry up a little higher. It could be. I'm not sure. Um, there's not really any point looking at the battle log um, unless we're unless I have him at you know five one 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 or maxed, and he is not maxed at this time. So, all right, let's look into possible pairings. Um, I think probably the number one pair that you will more than likely see is Harold. Uh, reason why is Harold has the three target troop AOE, whatever you want to call it. Um, and kind of in general, um, Harold's passive skills have some pretty good synergy, I think, um, with, uh, with the new commander. Um, the second one I think maybe you could do is Leonidas. Um, Leonidas is pretty bulky to begin with and he also has a shield so you can probably get two procs of shields up you know to block some incoming damage um flavius i don't think you, you might be able to use i doubt it um scipio prime i can also see be using quite a bit um scipio does kind of bring some more um hard hitting to the field um with I, maybe with him. I'm not 100% positive. Um, I don't think... I think Constantine's gone. I don't think... Um, if you're in... You know, Season of Conquest, I... I think Constantine is just a bench warmer at this point. Um, however... Uh, Pakal... I think you might be able to use him for rallies um, with him. I don't know. Uh, Her I guess it maybe it'll depend on situations. Harold's still probably the best for Pakal. Um, but maybe this could bring Pakal to the open field. I don't think it will, but it could. I mean, it has some buffs. Guan, I think Guan and um, Sargon are going to be fine. I think you can run them. Don't see any issues. Um, Guan hits hard. Always has even before the nerf and after the nerf. And I think maybe uh, Mechmed, you might be surprised. I think you might be able to actually pair um, Mechmed Prime with Saragon Secondary. And I think the reason why is because of the AoE. Um, you know, for a while there, you could do uh, the whole Richard YSG or Ethel Flood YSG I think, um, in this case, I think you can probably do it with this as well. Um, it won't do too much. Also, I think you could probably use Saladin, um, in this situation. Uh, Saladin does have a Cav passive skill. I don't think it hurts anything. It's gonna obviously make him a little less, um, you know, defensive bulkiness. But I think you can do it. Hope you enjoyed. Press that like and subscribe button if you like Rise of Kingdom content. Catch you in the next one.